I'm being asked by a lot of folks, why am I so interested in transcendental meditation? So I thought I'd take a few minutes to explain to all of you why I feel so passionately about this and why I've done something that's very different from what a lot of groups are doing in offering transcendental meditation to a lot of the people who are dear to me. Now, I've been practicing transcendental meditation, or TM, for nearly three years. About six months ago, I decided to offer the technique to everyone on my team at the Dr. Raj Show. I've seen the extensive research documenting its benefits, and I've also seen so many people who I admire and respect incorporate transcendental meditation into their own lives and share it with the people that they care for. Now, I work with a lot of very creative folks who are also type A and high-powered and pretty darn skeptical, so I had no idea what effect TM would have. But literally, the day after the first 20 people learned to meditate, I started getting some remarkable emails, and, and, and since then, I've been having some amazing conversations that have really surprised me. The first thing I noticed was the change in the tone and the texture of the dialogue, away from dwelling on the problems and much more thoughtful, insightful, clever ways uh, of solving problems. Instead of highlighting the issues that were separating us, my team was deriving bliss and joy from finding solutions. Now, why did Transcendental Meditation have such a dramatic effect? The creative folks on our team can get pushed so hard from the pressures of their job that they find it difficult to create. Sound familiar to many of you? This is probably true for most everyone. Now, it's frustrating to know you can create and yet not be able to do so because of stress. Transcendental meditation allows you to relax deeply, to let down your guard so that you're free to see reality in a much clearer way. You're able to connect pieces of information that were otherwise not so obvious to you. This is what the calmness and deep serenity that you experience during transcendental meditation does. And I have to add that it's so great to have people around me who have the ability to get to the same place of calm that I go when I meditate. Now, a lot of folks falsely think that nothing really happens when you practice transcendental meditation. And even if something does happen, there are 10 different ways of getting there. That's simply not true. It's factually incorrect. Speaking as a scientist, the amazing thing about transcendental meditation is the very well-established research showing that the technique impacts things that we didn't think were changeable. If you look, for example, at basic high blood pressure, which is the number one cause of death, you can actually reduce your blood pressure significantly with just using transcendental meditation. You can also reduce your cholesterol, atherosclerosis, obesity, the risk of stroke, and even reduce death rates due to cardiovascular disease. But this is the tip of the iceberg, my friends. We all have within us a deep well of creativity, which we can access if we can settle down into those deep, calm places, those serene moments that Transcendental Meditation offers. As a result, we feel free and better about ourselves. We make better health choices. We communicate better with our loved ones, our colleagues, and our friends. Now, a lot of you may also think that's a huge investment of time and resources to offer TM to your employees and to pull people out of their normal work cycle and take over a conference room and let them meditate. Yeah, it is, but I'm happy to have made it. And there are many other very successful companies and organizations that have made it as well because it pays off in ways you could never imagine. For me, the decision to offer transcendental meditation to my team was selfish. The Dr. Asho has my name on it, but it's not about me. It's about the wonderful human beings who work around me. We are in the change business, and we're trying to get people to think differently about how they can show up in their own lives. Now, how can I do that with 200 individuals who are experiencing pressure and stress cut off from the well of creativity within? So when I give transcendental meditation to these folks, I'm doing it because I know it's going to make them healthier, more creative, and better able to do their jobs and make our show all that it can be. You know as well as I do, any business is what it is because of the people who work there. Well, why not take the people who are working at 80% or 60% or 30% of their potential and take them all to 99% of their potential? I think that's what true success feels like. And that's what Transcendental Meditation can do for your company. It's available to every one of your employees who can use it at the start of the day and at the end of the workday and on weekends. Right? It can, it's both a smart management tool and one of the best gifts you can give to any employee because it's a gift that keeps giving. Whether it's for people who work in your business or on a military base or in a hospital or in a school, it can work everywhere. It's a powerful tool to turbocharge the people in your organization, and I quite strongly believe that you will be very wise to give it a try.